that yeah. that we would just take you through uh, how to build a ganache and how to tell awesome. chocolate. I haven't had a chance to. I haven't had a chance this to. This is a treat for everybody. This is going to be great. Yeah, because I've, I've been real interested in this stuff, but um, doing the Food Network stuff, you know, it was based on home cooks, so right. I thought it'd be cool to do a whole series on it's you know, teaching home cooks, so um, this is awesome. Yeah, no, Super I'm excited. happy to do it. A little bit tour? Yeah, we'll okay. do a tour real quick. Yeah. This is like, uh, you know, all of this is kindergarten clay projects. Uh -huh. This is like NASA. And then this is running the belts run, and the chocolate is coated. This is a blower, blows off the extra chocolate, wow. vibrates a little bit, and it comes out the other side, completely coated mm -hmm. with a nice thin uh, skin, basically, that. of chocolate. I yeah, it's really that. cool. That sounds awesome. We're going to hand dip today so you'll get a little bit of an idea of how we used to do it old school. Okay. So these are the, the kind of molds that we use. These are uh, European polycarbonate. You okay. can feel they're wow. super tough. That is pretty heavy duty. Yeah. So you just have to like heat it up to get it to come Well, out what we do is, and we and again, we can come back and do this in another, mm -hmm. another segment if you want, but uh, tempered chocolate, fill these cavities, turn it over, mm -hmm. dump all of that out. Okay. Clean it up a little bit, and then you have a shell. Okay, right? awesome. With chocolate, and then we can put whatever we want in the center of it. We're going to make a ganache okay. out of the Fortunato Number no. Four. Awesome. We talked about is the currently one of the rarest chocolates in the world. Really cool, very unusual tasting, and one of the reasons we're doing that is because the better the quality of the chocolate that mm -hmm. you use, in fact, the better any of your ingredient, the better your outcome. You okay. That from yeah. Your cooking. Best ingredients. Best ingredients equal best best finished product. And so we're going to use our Fortunato. We're okay. also going to use a local, we have Hildebrand Dairy, which is in Junction City. And uh, we use their cream, so it's fresh. It's awesome. awesome. Yeah. And then, um, and we'll talk a little bit more about the butter, but, and the ingredients in terms of the philosophy around building a ganache, but we use a very high butter fat content butter from, it's a French butter. Well, that sounds so, good. Yeah. <laughs> sounds it, good. yeah. How do you screw that up? Yeah, right? exactly. Cream, butter, amazing chocolate. So, okay, so if people are doing this at home, mm -hmm. what, what kind of chocolate would you suggest? Like semi-sweet or do you want like a dark chocolate or you what kind what? of? It really depends on, you know, I'm going to give you a, 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 basically a rule of thumb. It seems uh -huh. to be the case that practice makes perfect with working with chocolate. Mm -hmm. Part of that is because you have to decide as a chef, whether you're a home chef or a professional chef, what you like to eat. Okay. So, cream, left unattended, mm -hmm. has a boil over point that happens really quickly. Okay. So, when you're doing confection making, you want hot cream, but you don't want boiling cream. Okay. We're watching for, and it's starting to do it now, you start to get a little surface action. You just want to boil it until you start to get those first bubbles okay. and see where that's yeah. happening. So, we're going to take the cream and, and then just dump the hot cream over your really nicely chopped chocolate. That's made in the style of French butters. I want to bring it here and see how close it's I can get it. I'm going to mess up. I'm going to discourage you on hey. that. I'm pretty good at, at being able oh, to lop sure. off two ounces of butter at a time. But do it a little bit and you kind of get yeah, it Yeah, you, you know, it's like a, it's a practice thing. Well, there we go. There you go. Look at you. Oh. Okay. So, you can see that I'm just going to work the chocolate and, mm -hmm. the, and the hot cream, and I'm only really stirring in the center. Okay. The reason for that is that it's really easy to overwork a ganache, and I'm going to try really hard not to break it. Now the trick is too much heat, too much stirring, too much really anything with ganache can cause it to break. So we've got a little bit of a dilemma here, and this happens a lot at home because you don't really know how your chocolate's going to melt. Mm -hmm. So if you feel the, the container, it's not really very warm anymore. Yeah. So the likelihood of just falling over the cream, this is not going to continue to melt. Okay. So we're going to have to give it a little bit of help. And mm -hmm. the best way to do that is with the microwave. Okay. I'm going to let you do the next one. Okay. So. Five seconds. <laughs> Not four seconds. Not four. This is a not a six. <laughs> continue to make sure it's really well stirred and that all sides of each piece are exposed to the heat. We good? Yep. Awesome. Five. And this, we'll do this for the full minute or? Uh, we'll do it until it's ready. Okay. We may have to add uh, 30 seconds more to the okay. time. We'll just see. Oh yeah. 
So see it again. It's a little more loose. Right. It's like anything else that you're trying to incorporate together. Mm -hmm. You know, you get to a point where you realize you have to do something else. And, and that's what you're seeing here is it needs more heat. Mm -hmm. Again, five seconds. Okay. Yep. Oh, I'm making mess. Um, <laughs> it's starting to get real velvety mm -hmm. looking. Nice shine. Too. Texture, yeah. shine are starting to pop into it. And that's, that's the indication that the process is starting. So we're doing okay. Then. Yeah, we're doing great. We're going to go back to just do 10 seconds and we'll hit those. And Got it. Because I think you're, I think you're there. Safe to say I've never done anything like this before. <laughs> Throw it in the microwave for two minutes, let it curdle up, and then call it quits. <laughs> Buy that cheap stuff in a cup that you just throw in the microwave. Oh, the, that's called a coat. You want to drop that in, and okay. then I'm going to have you stir it. But one thing you can do mm -hmm. is kind of mash. Smash into it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the reason we use such a high butterfat content butter is that ganache, for it to have some stability, needs the lowest moisture okay. that you can add to it. And so this so far has heavy cream, which gave some liquid to it. If we put a regular butter in it, we're putting a lot of water, basically mm -hmm. the liquid part of the butter versus the solids. So this is 82% of the mass of the butter is actually the solid. Okay. So now that's the same ganache we had, right? Mm -hmm. And all we've done is chill it a little bit. So it's kind so of So now we'll just take this little bit of chocolate that we have here. And I told you that we need to put a little bottom on this mm -hmm. slab. So we're just gonna this is a pretty exact culinary pursuit. Um, this technique is called uh, chablon. It's a French term for thin coating. And all we're doing is getting um, a little coating on this bottom so that it's solid. Okay. Because now we're going to flip it over and we'll cut it. So we cut, <laughs> we cut on a precision cutter. But you can easily do this at home this way. Um, our philosophy is um, two bites. So you can see I'm just making inch squares. Mm -hmm. This is how easy you can do it at home. See, there's a very good chance I'm gonna mess this up. That's, that's rolling in, right? Yeah. yeah. Struggling a little bit here. Okay. If we're gonna put a design on it, we do that now. Okay. Okay. Now you got a bubble on top, right? Uh -oh. It's okay. You just kind of watch for those imperfections. Scrape the bottom of your fork as you go. Oh. I teach these classes, so I know how. You know how easy it is for me to mess with them. You know the trick here, as you can see, is getting them off the fork. I'm gonna go with the logo. There you go. Oh, I feel the like roughness on it, so I guess that's the how I know. Yep. There you go. The roughness the sticks texture. down. And the good news is this is, so let's switch. Okay. The trick here with truffles is getting a consistent size. Mm -hmm. So you want to think about about the size of a big red grape. Oh, yeah, look kind of like mine, roughly. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do a couple more and then we'll dip some. I'm going to call this like avant-garde. This is um, my own interpretation of circles. <laughs> the nice thing about these ganaches is they'll skin up as they go. <laughs> it's gonna go in here, okay. and then you're just gonna kind of go like this, and okay. well, get, get the sugar on it. So I'm just gonna roll these, okay. drop them in the sugar. Boom. Hey. I'm like, no. You're doing it wrong already. You're, you're supposed to get good like that. How much am I uh, trying to coat this? Like, All the way. You want it completely coated. Okay. And if I've done my job, you right handed, left handed. Right. Right in it. Okay. So you're going to put some chocolate on your left hand. Okay. It's getting a little thick. Chocolate on your right hand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pick up a center. Put it on your dominant hand. Okay. Roll it. <laughs> and this time we're not going to do anything with it. So you just want to get a really good coating on it. It's chocolate. Okay. And then you're going to set it down on the okay. deal. Dominant this is, hand. This is the hardcore. This is hardcore hand dipping, just like we do. Yep, now the trick is to kind of let it roll off your fingers. Okay, so I'm not leaving any kind of marks or anything like that? Go. More chocolate. More chocolate? Oh, okay. Good. Just take a corner. Look how good that rustic one looks though. I know, look at that. It looks amazing. Oh yeah. 
Oh. People can judge me all day, but I mean that rustic one is just. We didn't get it all the way out to the edges of the. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure it's nice and yeah, it's flat. And, wow. Yeah. So we were battling against a little cool ganache mm -hmm. there, which made your job even harder. Okay. So it wasn't me. It was the ganache then. That's. Well, it was a combination of you. <laughs> <I think. laughs> you did really well.